everybody, it's Mrs. Kopas. This is your second art assignment of the school year. I hope everybody had a great return to school and you had a great opening week. Um, we are going to be using some new vocabulary in this lesson today. The first is sketch and the second is contour drawing. So let's talk a little bit about what those two new vocabulary terms mean. Let's take a look at some pictures. So if we take a look at this sketch, uh, you will see that the artist has kind of lightly drawn things out. We have three different sets of hands here um, drawn a little bit with, without a lot of detail in some parts. This artist made this sketch to prepare for a larger drawing that he would then use for a painting. So he is experimenting here with what he thinks will look the best in his painting at the end. End. Um, so a sketch is a great place to kind of map things out as you go. Uh, this drawing by M.C. Escher was always one of my favorites because I love how the cuff of the shirt looks like a sketch, but then as we move through the hand, it becomes a very, very detailed drawing. Um, lots of like very thin lines around the cuff of the um, of the sleeve um, and gets very detailed as it goes up the hand. Uh, if we take a look here uh, at this sketch right from the artist's sketchbook, you can see that she was experimenting with how she would want her painting to finally look at the end. So she tried six different ways and then you can see the, pa the final painting on the right uh, that shows her final product. So a sketch is a great way to kind of work through some problems that you're having as an artist. It's almost like uh, when you're writing an essay for ELA or for language arts, it's like your sloppy copy. So if you're ever confused about how you want something to look at as a final piece of artwork, it's always a great idea to do some sketches and work out all the plans. So today, we're going to focus on a contour drawing and a contour drawing is actually a type of sketch. Let's take a look at this one, which is actually a student um, artwork. A contour drawing shows the edges or the outline of a shape or a form. So for this drawing, we're going to look closely at your hand. We're going to notice how each of the parts of your hand is related to the other parts. We're going to draw slowly and carefully and follow the edges you see. This is an observational drawing, so that means that we really want to look at what we're drawing as we draw it. And our eye and our pencil are gonna kind of follow along. I almost think of it like my eye is like a little ant kind of crawling along the outside line. And we're only using line here. We're not going to shade at all because this is a contour line drawing. Hands are tough. Like they, are, for me, they're my kryptonite. They're very, very tough for me to draw. So I practice them a lot. And we wanna try to maybe make, make a couple of the fingers bent a little bit. We don't wanna make a turkey hand. We're not just putting our hand down on the paper and tracing around, right? We're gonna look at what we see and then draw it. You're gonna need your sketchbook and a pencil. Go ahead and get set up and then I'll meet you back here. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and set my hand up so that I can draw it. Obviously, I am going to set up the hand that I don't draw with. So for me, that's my left hand. I'm just gonna kind of put it in a position that I feel comfortable drawing it. The way that I'm looking at it is a little different than the camera. I see kind of like a bent, angle with my pinky and a little bit of a curve with my ring finger. So I'm just going to start off down here right where my wrist connects to my hand and I'm going to use just a line because we are making a contour line drawing and my eye is exactly where I'm drawing with my pencil right now. So I'm going to come down and around Every time I see like a little dip or a little dent, I'm going to go ahead and mimic that on my drawing. So that's my thumb. I'm gonna come back in and just give a little bit more detail for my thumbnail and a few more lines for the details that I see in my fingers. And I'm gonna come back up 
and my come up to my pointer finger and I'm really looking at where those divisions are so if this is like this is right where the I see that little crease in my finger there to come up and around and there would be another crease here I'm really focusing on proportion or the size of things in relation to each other and as I'm doing that I'm realizing I have a little mistake right here I'm gonna correct I kind of dipped in a little bit too much All right, I'm going to go ahead and continue drawing now, but I'm going to speed my camera up a little bit. finished contour drawing you may have noticed during the video that I had a little trouble with my proportion or the size of things in relation to other things right around this area like I erased and went back in a few times I then did a second contour line drawing down here at the bottom just to kind of practice my skills a little bit more remember that this is a sketch it is not a finished drawing we are just figuring out how to draw like this with a simple line go ahead and give it a try see what you can accomplish remember that hands can be a little bit tough so take your time be easy on yourself and do your best i will see you guys next week Thank you.